This here is my two little baby calves, my youngest ones. The one in the white face is the, the youngest of them all. He's about three or four months old. He's got a little, a little bit of hay still hanging out in his mouth. These guys are just the most interesting little animals that I've ever been able to play with. Hi, baby calves. Baby, little baby calves are, are super cute. I'm not sure if baby calves are cute or baby chicks are cuter, but I don't know. For me, I kind of just feel like it's the baby calves that kind of just are, are, are really, really just the cutest of the cutest, the way they act, the way they interact, the way they are. They're just something that just, just brings a spirit of happiness to you when you get around them, when you sit around them, when you, when you put yourself all, 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 all amongst them to just, just see what they do and hear how they breathe and and just walk, watch what they watch what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. That they are, they are super cute. That I think that I I prefer baby calves over over baby chicks. But I do like me some baby chicks. But what do you like? You like baby chicks? You like baby calves? I got this pumpkin here that for the people that celebrate the ho the holidays and stuff. That thankfully everyone always keeps giving me free food to be able to give to my animals. So we'll go ahead and let that pig uh, devour that thing. I'm gonna see if he can actually break it open on his own. I'm not sure if he actually can or not, but it's pretty fascinating to me to be able to see these animals do what it is they do on a day-to-day -day basis. That it's uh, it's something that really does uh, uplift my spirit. That when I'm feeling in a in a in a sense of just not sure, <laughs> he sure does eat that whole thing through. <laughs> if you're feeling in a sense of not really sure of of what it is that you should do, want to do, can do, need to do anything like that, you just you just consume yourself, put yourself around some animals to be able to. I feel like get some more clarity. My name is Mark Anthony DeBose Jr. and I was born July 4th of 1986. And today, today's been a very, very interesting day. Very interesting weekend, a, a, a lot of self-reflection going on. I feel like that's all that really goes on on my Saturdays. That I go through a whole week and then on my Saturday when I'm just, just, just hanging out and putting new plans together that I just come up and start thinking about some things that I really want to focus on in the next week. And then I, I really dial that in and, and really make sure that I, I, I guess I say I put a list together and I, and I start to work on that list to be able to check that list off to be able to get what it is that I need to get done. That I, I do that on a week to week basis to make sure that I'm, I am uh, continuously progressing into the right direction and not just standing still or doing the same old, same old and, and making sure that I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking leaps and bounds in reality of what it is that I'm at now as, as opposed to where I was even just a week ago that I like to see progression just drastically over and over and over and uh, something that really allows me to be able to do that is to be able to just have a day of reflection of of getting a good understanding of what it is that I'm doing where it is I want to go and what it is that I want to continue to keep doing and for me something that I want to continue to keep doing is to keep getting better and better and more comfortable with uh, the better understanding of how to be able to take care of these animals, how to be able to get better understanding of, of the behavior of the animals and why they do what they do. And, and, and the, the reasons why I feel like I want to learn more about the behavior of the animals to learn what they do is, is to, to make it so it's easier for everyone else to be able to know how to work them and manage them and be around them. That I know a lot of us just quit when we want to start working with animals and we start to get the desire in us of like, I want some cows or I want some horses or, or I, 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 want, I want some goats and I want some sheep and I want some chicken and, and you, want, you want all these things and you get all excited about it. And you're like, as soon as I get out there, I'm gonna get that going. Or even I'll get it going where I'm at, where I'm at right here, right now. That you start getting it going. But we all run into a situation where the animals just don't do what we want them to do, ever. They never, ever do. When we make a nice little square for them, we fence it up, we build it eight feet tall, we got it all so perfect, but then you wake up the next morning and you see the goat outside of where you, where you just spent all that time, all that energy, and it just starts to frustrate you right away. It really starts to just frustrate you just over and over instantly. And it doesn't allow you to really enjoy what it is that you're, you're really wanting to do. It, it just, it, it, Oreo, it puts you in a, uh, let, let's get down. It puts you, let's get down. It puts you in a, a situation of you just feel like you, you, you don't want to do this. You don't, you don't want to have to have to deal with the hassle of this. Then you just want to quit because it's, it's not going at all the way that you really plan it to go. And I, and I wonder how many people have even already done that have started a project, have started doing something, have started working on something, and then you just quit it because it's just, it just wasn't going, it just wasn't working. You felt like it wasn't working. And, and, and the main reason I'm gonna say it wasn't working is because you're trying to deal with something that is not, it's not just a structure. It's not just, a, you're dealing with living, breathing animals. You're dealing with, with life. And, and even if you're doing this with, 
because I've had many projects of mine with, with growing some veggies, with growing some herbs and, and growing some uh, jalapenos and some, some onions. And, and it just, it will go up, it will go up so high. And I'm like, yeah, look at it. And then it just dies. So I'm just like, oh man, when you're dealing with life, you got to have a whole different attitude towards coming at it. You can't just come at it like I did it and it's going to work. I did this and it's going to happen. So you got to have a good understanding of the behavior behind all of it, everything that's going on behind it so that you can have a easier time, a smoother time, a more relaxed time of being able to make sure that you, you, you're actually getting success. And, and, and with that, you got to make sure that you're, you're studying behavior of everything, of, of, of the, the plants, of the, of the animals, so that you can, you can really amplify what it is that you're doing. You don't have to stress and you don't have to struggle and you don't have to, he, he, he eats that whole thing. He, 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 you don't have to even break nothing for this guy, this pig. He will eat and consume anything you throw out there for him. And I'm thankful for the free food that comes to me to be able to give to him that he absolutely enjoys these pumpkins. He eats the entire thing whole and it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. But for me, just understanding the behavior of these animals has allowed me to be able to see that and watch that, witness that, to be able to get a good, uh, good understanding of what it is to be able to make sure that I can take care of him, give him something that he thinks is luxury, but in reality to the rest of the world is just trash. Because every single time that I see pumpkins sitting out front of your house, I'm like, hey, what you gonna do with that? And or people will say straight to me up front, hey, you, you live on a farm, right? I'm like, I sure do. And um, they, I, I just absolutely love this. But we have to make sure that we're studying and paying attention to the behavior of some things. And the behaviors of everything is something that is going to be able to upgrade and escalate our lives to be able to do absolutely great things on this planet. If we're just sitting down and just just watching uh, endless video after video of, of just... Of, of nonsense, and, and I hate to put it in the terms of cat videos of just watching, say, animals do funny things, not actually paying attention to why that animal is doing that funny thing. Just watching videos of people doing funny things and not understanding why those people are reacting the way that they're reacting. If you're just in it getting a laugh, you're just watching videos of just, just seeing silly stuff go on and just trying to get a quick laugh real quick, you, you, you really should rethink what it is that you're watching and what it is that you're doing and start to try to pay attention to why are they laughing? Why am I laughing? What's going on in there that's making this happen so that I start to want to just have a giggle real quick? I want to get a chuckle real quick. And, and, I, and I want more and more of us to just really start to pay attention to stuff like that instead of just getting a laugh. Like when you watch a movie and it scares you, why does it scare you? What's going on with it? What's going on behind the scenes with everything that's going on to make you get into your emotions, to make you get to in your reaction movement? And I'm telling you, the more and more that you really, really start to study all this, the more you start to study your own self. And the real more that you start to understand how to be able to position yourself into a better place and a better situation so that you're no longer in sticky situations where you feel like you're not in control, that you'll start to be able to study like, why am I laughing right now? Why is that so funny to me? And why is that making me want to laugh? You're gonna realize what triggers you to laugh, what triggers you to be sad, what triggers you to be frightened, what triggers you. So then you go walk around and look at the world and you can just have a sense of like, oh, okay, that over there, the way that looks, the way the situation with that is, and or the way those people are, the way those people are talking, the way everything is going over there, that's gonna make me react this way based on everything that just keeps constantly coming to me when, when that happens. So you're really going to start to have a better understanding of yourself. And then when you start having a better understanding of yourself, you're going to start having a better understanding of everything else out here and everything around you and everything that you're, 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 you're uh, uh, around from a day-to-day, week-to-week basis, that you're going to start to be able to understand how to actually truly help people instead of just pe- keep constantly giving people just like endless things and endless sayings and just, just how are you? I'm good. It's like, what, what was the purpose of that? Especially if it's someone that you really, really know. Especially if it's someone that you're, you're re- really dialed into, that you really have great communication already, that you, you're not sure what to say, you're not sure what to do, because you just you just are, are not really in tune with knowing how you actually are. You don't even know what's going on. You don't even know why you are feeling the way that you're feeling based on everything going on around you. And you're just like, man, I had a really good week, but why do I feel kind of bummy? Why do I feel kind of like nothing great really happened? Well, I checked up everything off my checklist, and, and I'm just like, I'm not sure what's going on right now. And that's, that's, that's where for me, I like having these sakes, my self-reflection days of being able to get a good understanding of what it is that I'm doing and what it is that I, I want to continue to keep doing, what it is that I want to get away from. That in reality, sometimes you can go a whole week and you're just like, yeah, 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 I got it all done. But then you realize 
that really wasn't what you wanted to do because that's why you're not really uh, feeling uh, happy, satisfied, and, and successful in any sort of way. That, that, those are things that were just like tasks to just, just do, tasks to just, just get done. Meaningless things that weren't actually really getting you into a better place uh, position, but just to keep you and maintain you the same, just to make you feel like you're doing something great. And that's something that I feel like we really need to start questioning and challenging on, on studying the behaviors of things and studying the behaviors of everything going on around us. And, and that's why I love watching and studying the behaviors of these animals, all the way from the chicks, baby baby chicken chicks to baby bird chicks to, to all the way up to these big old cows. I like studying what they do so that I can make my life so much easier, so much more simpler. So I don't have to struggle and stress over they're going here and they're doing this and why are they doing this and why are they doing that? I already know because I'm already watching them. I already have a very good idea. When I see them all congregate and want to do something like that, I'm just like, oh, they just need this and everything's going to be okay with them now. Instead of trying to just throw stuff at it to see if it's going to work. The more and more that you just keep trying to throw stuff at it, to, shoot, that's how we work on cars nowadays as mechanics, that you just throw stuff at it. Is that going to fix it? No. Is that going to fix it? No. Is it, 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 it's, Instead of actually knowing the whole understanding of how a motor works, how a transmission works, how it all works, to get a good idea of that's why this is wrong. That's why this isn't working. So then you, you, you need to get away from the just trying to throw stuff at it and get to the whole, say, root situation of what's going on here and, and the root situation of what's going on is more than likely something that's super simple but it's something that you always just pass up you just look over it like now nah, i can't be that but then if you actually just really dig deep and just sit down and really study it and really pay attention to it you realize like man that, that was the problem that was my main issue and once you just start working on that thing right there then you're going to start realizing okay things are starting to get better and better now things are starting to be more smoother and smoother now now i'm not having to struggle so much anymore now i'm not not feeling defeated anymore now i'm not feeling oh let's get down now i'm not feeling uh, uh so so depressed anymore oreo let's get down and, and I, I want to make sure that, that, that we're focusing on more and more of what the actual root cause of everything that's going on. That's why for me, when I see my cows, when I see them, they start to pace and start to move. I'm like, what's actually going on out there? And at first, in reality, <laughs> it's something that really came to me, or let's get down, something that really came to me that really got me understanding was it was their water. My first water system that I had for them just wasn't enough. I had a small pan and they were drinking it. I didn't realize that they drunk five to 10 gallons, five to 10 gallons in one sitting. They will drink 10 gallons of water in just one go. So all I had was a 10 gallon thing and I had three cows. So one would come and drink it and the others are standing there like, we gotta wait for it to fill up. So they would start pacing, start going crazy. I'm just like, what's going on out there? Like what's happening? And it's just for me to figure out what the root cause was. The root cause was they didn't feel like they had enough and the resources were slim. So then they start to feel like they had to say, even fight over it and fight for it. And that's something that happens a lot with dogs, that that goes on. You talk about resource guarding with dogs, that it is natural in them to do as such. But if you give them an overabundance of the resource, they're not gonna feel like they need to fight over it except when two dogs want to fight over uh, the resource of a female thinking that they're going to be the ones that are going to breed it. That's something that is very, very challenging to try to deal with that. You need to have an extreme amount of control over your animals to make sure that that they know not to uh, go to battle with each other for, for certain circumstances like that, that you gotta claim that as you, that's mine, that's mine. You ain't nobody touching that until I touch that basically. Uh, but that's a sticky situation, I will say. But dealing with these other animals out here in that same situation hasn't been so, so much of a challenge yet, uh, yet I'll say, because I really haven't been into a huge, huge dilemma with that. But we gotta really figure out what the root cause of everything that's going on. And we really need to start studying ourselves a little bit more to start to figure out what the root cause of what's going on with us and why we don't feel satisfied, why we feel like we need to, to uh, uh, be so aggressive out there, why we need to be so, so ruthless out there, why we need to just keep doing damaging things out there, why we need to just feel like we have the desire, the urge to just put some hate messages out there towards other people. That, that <laughs> Something real funny that, uh, that I listened to earlier that really got into me, that really did make me think a lot made me think a whole lot, made, made me think a lot of a lot in reality today that it, it was just said like maybe an hour ago that really got me thinking where he's like, you have so much, he's talking about people that are just negatively commenting on some of his content that he's doing. And he's like, you guys have so much to say and you have no, you have one subscriber, zero content, zero pictures, zero posts, zero blogs, zero anything. And he's like, you have no, you have no like, you have no nothing. So how and why is it that you feel you have the right to be able to, to go out and put so much hate towards everyone else when you have nothing? You have nothing to show, nothing to push, nothing to, to be able to inspire, nothing, nothing. You got nothing going on. So it's a very interesting, hey Shadow, all done. 
it's a very interesting situation that we we have we live in a place like that 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 uh you 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 got you got so much anger inside of you, you got so much hate inside of you and i think that majority of all that hate and the majority of all that anger comes from just not paying attention what the root cause is of why you feel that way and for a lot of people watching a lot of this content and a lot of these videos and a lot of this stuff that's all on here like you want to do what these people are doing but you just don't do it you want to get on there hey shadow all done i can see you right there i see you homie we good I gotta cover up that spot. I don't even want you to see that far. You see, you got too much opportunity. That might be my new figure out with that dog. He got too much opportunity to see too much. He needs to narrow that down some. But I know a lot of people just get so angry, get so frustrated, get so in your feelings because you're not doing what it is that you see other people doing. And I can say that with me and myself with what I do out here. Someone will get so mad at me like, oh, this guy, like you don't even know me. But yeah, you would try to say such damaging stuff to me, such ruthless stuff to me. You don't know nothing about me and I don't know nothing about you, but you would say such damaging things and because I'm just doing something I know because you want to do. You wish you could do. You wish you could be a part of. You wish you could make it happen. And I'm going to tell you, you got to dig deep, get into that root core of what's going on and just do it. Just make it happen. Make small steps to be able to get yourself in a position to be able to do such a thing and I'm telling you for anyone that's out there everyone's gonna say the same thing that lives on some land that takes care of some land that does anything we all say the same stuff because it is it is the same situation it's all out here it's all out here it's not expensive it's cheaper than your apartment that you're paying for to be able to do this but the problem is why most people really just I would say don't stick with it don't do it and don't actually do it it's because it's work there's work behind it. There's work involved with making sure that you got to keep up with everything. There's work involved when the landlord comes and he says, I want to see what it looks like, you know, just, just take me for a tour. And he's just like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. He doesn't want to come to his property and be like, oh, there's a, a new couch. Like, for instance, of this property, this was like a party property before I got here. Like, five different families all lived here, even though they said it was just going to be one. There was like 20 people that lived here, and there was just couches everywhere, beer cans everywhere, shotgun shells everywhere. It was just like a party going on out here every single night, every single weekend. And the owner doesn't want to come and see that. The owner wants to come and see progress of it looking better and better and better. And I feel like that's the thing that us, we need to start to, to deep in with our root core of what's going on. The root core of, I just don't want to work. And if you don't want to work, if you don't want to do anything, if you don't want to stay busy with something, then you got to figure out what's going on with that. Why is it that you have that inside of you? Who taught you those lessons to make you think that doing anything for yourself is just too much and, and it's, 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 it's something that you shouldn't you shouldn't want to do, you shouldn't want to be a part of. It's like some people would say, oh, working on a farm is like, oh, that's like slave work. I'm never going back to that. I'm not doing that anymore. And it's just like, how, how is it not slave work working for 7-Eleven, working there for 12-hour shifts? I don't know why they work 12-hour shifts there. It's just crazy. But uh, y'all y'all work crazy over there. But uh, working some 12-hour shifts over there and, and, and just constantly doing that and doing that and dealing with people over and over and over and dealing with problems and situations and, and issues and people yelling at you and people trying to steal stuff and, and, and worried about if someone's got a gun or or a knife to try to steal and rob you and, and deal with all that. And you consider that not to be slavery. But someone would say that coming out here and taking care of this pig, that's slave work. That's that's something that I, I'm not going to be a part of that. And that's something that I think that we as a people got jammed up in our brains to not understand in the root core of what's going on with us. So what's actually what happening to us and wh why is it that we are constantly doing the things that we're doing and not paying attention to it and just doing it, just 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 constantly just doing and not actually like like paying attention to why we're doing what's going on with that. Get down. You know why I'm touching you. Get down on down, down, get down, get down, there you go. And why you're doing that and why things are going on, you're not paying attention to the root cores of root core of what's actually happening. And you're just, you're just living on, on autopilot. You're just waking up the next day and you're doing the same thing. You're waking up the next day and doing the same thing. And you don't even have that week of, or that day of, or even that year of reflection of where am I, what am I doing and what's going on? And what do I want to change to make sure that I'm not doing the same thing anymore? Like we really need us just, that's, that's simple part of simple things of goal setting and setting goals and making sure that we have things that we are working towards and working to get done. And those goals need to be the dreams and aspirations that we are desiring, that we want, that we need, that we absolutely have to be a part of to be able to be a, a successful, happy, satisfied human being on this planet. That you need to start figuring out what it is that your, your root core issue is that you want to deal with and you want to make happen and then start working on that. For some people, like for me, for instance, one of my deep issues is I want to make sure that the way that I've been able to say get myself 
to be able to be to this position today, to be able to get myself to be able to communicate the way that I'm able to communicate today, the way I've been able to get myself to break out of my shell, to be able to do what it is that I'm able to do today, I want to get more and more people closer to that source of God and understanding that Jesus is here to be able to satisfy you, to be able to upgrade your life. That's something in me that that I've just, that was one of my root issues inside of me of just always feeling hurt, always feeling lack, always feeling scarce, always feeling just, just destroyed every single day, feeling as if I don't know where to go, what to do, how to do, how to think for myself, how to be for myself, how to do anything for myself. So that's that's one, say, issue that I had with myself that I want to make sure that I, I break through that issue, get out of that issue, and be able to help more people with that issue. And then the next issue I have is the issue of food, of making sure that everybody's able to eat. I don't know why, but something inside of me, just me, just Mark Anthony DeBose Jr., born July 4th of 1986, just has this in me where I feel like everybody should be able to have nice, solid, quality food. And, and it shouldn't be something that's just just hard to get. It's something that it's just, just, you got so many loopholes to be able to make it happen. And, and you got all this, it should just be available, ease of access. It should be something that is in reality to the point of not even monetized. Like you should be able to have a nice, well ingredient, made ingredients from anywhere, everywhere. And everyone's just moving it around and we're good to go. So something in me just makes me really, really want to do that. Then another thing for me that I just really, really want to be able to just something inside of me, <laughs> these people in these Jake breaks out here, the end up, uh, and really want to push out and get out out of inside of me is, is the health care. I want everyone to be able to have the same health care access that I have. That when I can get sick and I go to the doctor, I go and it's free and they take care of it and I get anything that I need to get done and make it happen, make it happen. This past year, all the tests that I've gotten done was something that's that's not even life-threatening yet, I'll say. But who knows? Who knows what? You know, that's why I was getting tests done. But tests that I was getting done, the tests that I was able to get access to, is tests that I'm still able to get access to. I can go get blood drawn every single month if I want to. They got me hooked up on a on a what do you call that a, a ultrasound thing every six months now just just because and and all of that's covered and all that's paid for and I want everyone to be able to have that exact same thing I don't know why I have certain things in me that it's just like like just I want to make sure everybody has that. I want to make sure everybody does that. So for me, I have to put steps in my place every single week to make sure that I'm headed towards making sure that certain ones of these goals are being able to be met. And for me, you know, something even working with with these animals and having a good understanding of them, that's my first step of making sure that everybody can get quality health care is by coming up with a quality training plan to make sure that your dog <laughs> can sniff out certain problems that are going on with you. That if you, you, you're feeling under the blue and you're not sure what's going on, your dog is going to say, hey, buddy, you got that going on. Like he's going to give you three taps for this and four taps for that. And you're like, oh, oh, OK. Or let's get down. He, and you're going to say, oh, OK, I can go ahead and take this and do this and go here and get, get further tests if I need be. And that's something for me that's like that's a basic step. And then another basic step for me to make sure that everybody's out here to be able to eat is to be able to get better with me understanding animal behavior. So that when you run into situations like why my goats keep running away, I can come in with a training plan and say they're doing it because it is. And they're doing it because you don't have the correct uh, animals around to be able to make happen what you need to make happen. You don't have the right system in place to be able to keep what it is that you want to be able to keep. And, and, and I just want to get better and better at that so that I could be able to show you and teach you and guide you on how to be able to do as such. And then on the other side of that, that's the creating the food. And then on the other side of that, I want to make sure that I can be able to speak a way, be a way, be able to present in a way that makes you say, that guy's pretty interesting. That guy doesn't do what I see all the other guys do. So then I can explain to you a little bit more how and why I've been able to do that. And that's been getting a good understanding of who God is and reading the Bible more, starting to get better understanding of everything that's going on with that. Just like today. Uh, a great Bible verse in the Psalm, book of Psalms is the 56th chapter of the, uh, what is it, the third? I think it's the third verse. I'm pretty sure it's that. But he's talking mainly about uh, being being scared and being worried. The don't don't worry. Don't be scared. Like God's got your back. And if you, you're feeling like you got a little, little I'm not sure, just, just, just rely on him to know that everything's going to be okay, that everything is going to be fine, and he's going to be able to take care of it. And if it feels like in that second, in that, in that moment, in that day, in that week, in that season, that you're not getting what it is that you think that you need, then you might not actually need it. You might have needed something else and you might have needed to just focus your, your efforts somewhere else and, and have done something else that, that it, it's, it's, that's, that's something that we need to really, really rely on God a little bit more to understand. So for all three of those things, I feel like are three pretty major things that go on in my day to day, week to week basis that I'm all constantly every single time trying to make sure that I'm focused on and making sure that I'm doing something to be able to get myself closer to being able to help out more people with these, this, this root core issues. I got with my own self. Issues where I felt like I don't like this and I'm not I'm not happy with that. Issues
issues where I don't know why it's like this and I need to change and do something about that. That I just, I just, I, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe this is something different with me than this different with the next person. But I'm not, I'm focused on things that I need, yes. I'm focused on some stuff that I want, yes. But my main focus is to make sure that the people around me are able to do the same and more than what I've ever been able to do myself. That That's something that me, that I just focus a lot of my energy and a lot of my time on. I don't focus a whole lot of time on, oh my God, I gotta have this project right and this project's gotta be perfect for mine and, and my chicken's gotta be this. And No, my focus with my chicken that I'm doing right here, this three, uh, I've lost two, two, the three so far so 330 of them that are in there my focus on that is not ah, i need to fill my freezers to be able to eat my focus on that is a project to make sure that see it to make sure that I know how to be able to take care of that much that many because that many is enough to be able to feed a thousand people and and that multiple times at that. That's enough of food to be able to create, to be able to make sure that a whole neighborhood is satisfied. And I want to know what it takes, bare minimum. I want to know what it costs in minimum and grain. What it costs and what it takes to be able to, to take the eggs and be able to incubate them. What it takes to be able to do all that. What, How many hours is it taking me to, to take care of the whole thing and be able to take it? What is the bare absolute minimum that I have to do to be able to make sure that they thrive and they're doing the best of the best and living the best life that they can? And that's all, that's all I'm doing all the time with all that with all my cows i got too many cows even even though one passed away on me last week it's not a it's not a, a hindrance i feel like to my system and what it is that i'm doing out here because i have too many i have too much right now and it's just it's a it's a concept to see what does it actually take to be able to raise and have and keep maintaining that what does it take to be able to house that what and to be able to move them around and be able to put them where i want them to be what does it take to be able to do all of that and that's that's what i look at all of my projects that i do out here is to make sure that i can be able to relay this information on to someone else who feels like i, I don't even know where to start with that and I can say hey man you can start at 15 and then at the same time me being able to say to you you can start with 15 baby chicks and, and c come at you with an extreme amount of confidence and then my confidence is going to just rub off on you you're going to you're going to be scared and nervous like I don't know what to do I don't know what to go I'm going to say hey man this is simple this is so simple because I've already done a thousand I've already done five thousand I've already done fifty thousand it's already been done so this is easy you just do it like this and that's it bam that's it you're good to go you don't have to worry about anything else so then you have someone to be able to show you that be able to teach that to you and to be able to make that happen for you that's that's you know, the kind of the way same way that I work with these dogs that I work the same way with that because they're so simple to me and then everyone I work for I, I show you how simple it really is it's not it's nothing that's overly complicated it's not like you got to go to school for five years to be able to figure this out it's not like you got to be born and raised to understand dogs to know how to work with them you just need to understand the basic fundamentals and the super simple basic fundamentals and those basic fundamentals you, you got to have someone come at, come at you with an extreme amount of confidence that really really knows it that is 100 percent on with knowing what they're doing is right and is correct with no hesitation they're like i'm not sure if this is going to work or not coming in come and try to help you you're not going to be able to work with that you're going to work with someone that says if you do this this is, it's going to work if you do that it's going to happen watch it happen when you do that that it just gives you that sense of confidence yourself to be able to like oh, okay I can do that I can make that happen I can follow through with that and then for me to upgrade my existence with these dogs is to make sure that I can start getting better with my sniff and searches with them to get them to understand how to be able to to help out people in a in a in a real way help people in a real way I know a lot of people get dogs because we want a companion dog we want a companion animal but I want you to be able to have a companion a true companion animal one that can really <laughs> that's really seriously watching your back one that is seriously on guard making sure that you're good to go and when I say on guard I'm not making sure someone's gonna break into your house so many people are so terrified of that and this is like how often does that actually even happen that you need this protection dog that's gonna bark away or chew on someone that walks through that door the concept of even training your dog to bite someone and not actually be scared when someone comes in is excessive that's not something you just over a weekend put some training on your dog now he's going to bite anybody that comes in they don't do that as soon as you put pressure on them they just fold they quit they run away they get scared they get terrified and that's something that that uh, i want a dog to be able to tr truly have your back that if you start having migraines in a certain way that are detrimental to your health your dog is going to be able to let you know like hey man you, you, you should go get that checked out because there's something going on here. And, and we all should, as a community, have animals that are like that. That you got your dog that works because you got some, some of the diabetes stuff going. Hey, 
we shouldn't have no diabetes if we eating correct, if we eating good. But that's something that I, I want to make go away. But uh, certain other things that we got going on that that if you got an issue, your neighbor's got a dog that already alerts for that, that he, he can help all y'all out. So all y'all just keep going through it and we can figure out what's going on. That that's I don't know why, but that's just something to me that's just I want to be able to push out to more people and have more people to have a good understanding on that. For me, I'm not I'm not on this planet just looking at myself. And I, I feel like I've never, ever even been this way of I need me. I need mine. I got to have mine and, and can't nobody have nothing that I have. And I, I've just never been that way. And the more and more that I'm out here, the more and more that I'm just, say, letting go of old people, of old stuff, of old situations, I'm starting to embrace more and more of that, of really truly being someone who just, 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 uh, there's so many of us out here that just want to help, but we get stuck. And I feel like this is the thing, this is the thing that when the other day I was talking about, there's something that, that, uh, some, that some people want to take from some people because they see you have it. They see something in you. They see that you're just so, so strong in something and they feel like they got to come in and just, just destroy you and just, just take you down while they take it from you. And I think that that's what it is. I think that that's the main thing that these people are trying to take, that, that, that your willingness to want to help and do for more and everyone else, that they don't understand why you want to do that because they're all stuck in just, I want me, 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 me. I always want my I only need mine. I can just can't nobody else have nothing. This is all about mine. They're stuck in that mind. They don't know how to get into the whole concept of help that person and help that person and help all these people. They don't know how to do that. They don't know anything, the first step to be able to do that. So they got to latch on to those people that are like that. So that it's just like, it's just shut them down, just to shut them up, just to just get them out of that, get them away from that. So they can't help anybody. So they can't uh, be a help to be able to uh, do anything for anyone else except for them because they don't know how to, how to do that. They don't know how to ha handle that. They don't know how to, to deal with, they don't know how to do anything other than just try to satisfy their own selves. And you'll realize really fast in your life, or I don't know, I just know that many people, and, and me as well, and many people like me I know, that you, you realize really fast in life that when you're just on the me, 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 I want it all, I want everything, can't nobody else have anything, and can't nobody else do what I do, and I gotta just do what I gotta do, you, you live a very lonely life, regardless if you have 50 people around you that are constantly just sucking your toes and, and begging you and pleading for you and wanting you and you live a really, really small, small, just tiny life because there's no satisfaction in that. And I, and I truly feel like that's that's the whole thing behind why there's some people out there that just wanna just take and destroy. And they wanna stop that, that they see in that person that all they wanna do is help. That's why I say it's got nothing to do with being a CEO of a Fortune 100 company or, or being a, a, a professional athlete. It's just about the every single everyday person, guys and girls and children and all alike, that just have the need to wanna help somebody, that have the need to wanna do something for somebody. And they, they just wanna they just wanna suck all that out and take that from you. But for me, the more that I'm out here, the more that I got away from all that, the more that I really start to embrace the fact of what it is that I truly want to be able to do on this planet. And what I truly want to be able to do on this planet is to be able to move this planet on a little bit further with having the basic understanding of how to be able to take care of yourself and not feeling like you need everyone else to be able to do that for you. That you can you can you can get get some food and then you can get the food and then you can share it with somebody because I'm telling you when you start when you start with just trying to get some food, you have no choice but to just do more. And then when you, when you do more, that's when you have the availability to be able to share out more. You gotta give to people more. You be able to do for people more. Be able to make happen for people more. The better and better I keep working with these dogs, the better and better I keep getting with them, the more that anyone else can come around and watch and say, hey, you know, I learned something from that. You don't have to pay for it. You just watch. It's already paid for. If I'm already there, if I'm already doing a session, you just happen to be there, you, you, you're gonna learn some stuff. You're gonna learn some things. And the more and more that I just keep getting faster at it, more efficient with it, the more I understand the behavior of all of these animals, Animals, the more that it's just going to be so simple that it, it doesn't, it's, it's not going to require so much to be able to push it out there and be able to help more people. The faster and faster we get at what we're good at, what, we're, what we should be doing, the faster and faster we get at it, the faster we're able to get in and get out to be able to keep doing it for the next person. That I don't need to sit there like for me, for instance, with working with some dogs, I don't need to sit there for six weeks to give you something that I see what other people do in six weeks. I give that to you in, in, in two hours, if that. And for me to be able to do that, it allows me to be able to move on to the next person, to be able to grow and to be able to move on and grow and move on and grow and keep on cruising. That we all have something in us that we have that exact same thing with, where someone else takes a week and it takes you an hour. Someone takes a month and it takes you two 
uh, 20 minutes. That's something that we all have in us that we need to start pushing and utilizing and pushing to market so that we can help out more people, so that we can make sure that more people are out of these sticky situations and feeling damned and damaged and feeling destroyed and feeling hurt and feeling, feeling, feeling anything like that, that they can just start really getting the real research, real knowledge to be able to move on and grow for themselves. And, and we, we all have these, these deep down desires in us. Not all, not all. I'm going to take that back because there's some other information that I heard that for a while I was like, yeah, I will say all, but not all. Some people just don't know and don't don't get it. Some people were not all the same. That even living by the say even the the Christian ways. So I don't classify myself as as any religion of any religious organization. So I don't classify myself as no pastor, no minister, or no preacher. I don't classify myself as any of that. I classify myself as Mark Anthony DeBose Jr., born July 4th of 1986, and a follower of Jesus Christ. That's what I classify myself as, and I don't classify myself in anything else. But they really do like to push the fact that everyone's the same, and we're all the same. And, and I'm going to say that that's not true, that there are different kinds of people. The same way that there are kinds of dogs and kinds of, of, of uh, 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 elephants and giraffes and rhinoceroses and, and hippopotamuses and all those things. There's, there's, there's different kinds and then they don't match. So a dog and a, and a hippopotamus are not going to line up together. And that's the same concept in the same way with us as human beings, with other human beings. That there are some human beings that are different kinds than us, that we don't line up with them. That when we get together, some weird foreign stuff is going to come from it. Some disastrous, just, just horrible, just evil type stuff is going to come from it. Because we're on two different types, just a good way of putting it is we we'll have two different sets of values. We got two different sets of understanding of how this world is and what this world is about. That there's no reason that we could put it together because if you put it together, you're going to raise some kids that are going to be so divided, so confused, so thrown off, so damaged, so destroyed, don't know what to do, don't know how to live, don't know how to think, don't know how to be, because you got two separate value systems trying to come in to be one. And then on one minute, one part of the values is, is there, and, and, and they, they're living by that and understanding that. And the next minute, the other values are there. And then when they're together, the kids got to like bounce back and forth. with like, I'm not sure who to listen to. I'm not sure which way to go, because if I say this, then they're going to be mad. If I say this, then they're going to be mad. So then the kids have no voice. They have no say. They have no understanding of what's right and wrong and where they should go and what they should be doing and how they should be. And it's just going to create an extreme amount of chaos. And it's something that there are different kinds of people out here, and we need to make sure that we get together with the same kind of people. And that's something for me today, and especially today, but just this weekend in reality, and especially this weekend, I just had a whole revelation of life that was just like a mind-blowing, eye-opening type situation that went on with me, where it's just like having that good understanding that there are different types of people and different kinds of people and we can't mix the two. You got to just, you got to stay with your kind and you got to just, you got to just do that. You got to make that work. I don't care if they smell funny. I don't care if they're too short. I don't care if they're too tall. I don't care nothing about that. If you with the right kind of people, you're going to grow some extremely nice stuff on this planet. You're going to have an extremely, you're just going to have an advantage that the whole world is going to wish that they, they could possibly be a part. Hey Johnny, you, you, the, the whole world is going to, uh, be so envious over in reality to be able to have. But when you're doing the same stuff that I feel like everyone out here is doing is is the opposites, thinking that opposites attract and this and that. If you're you 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 with your opposition every single day, you're gonna end up in a an extreme amount of damaging situations that you're 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 you're, you're gonna be fighting. Hey, Oreo, let's get down. You're gonna be fighting. You're gonna be battling. You're gonna be struggling. You're gonna be damaged. You're gonna be destroyed. Oreo, down. You're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be feeling. You're good, no Johnny. You're, you're gonna not know what to do, how to do, where to go, how to be, how to talk, how to act. You're, you're gonna be very, very conflicted every single day of just an a mass amount of confusion. Not sure what to say, not sure what to do, not sure where to go, not sure of anything because you're living with your opposition. And the opposition is not someone who's looking out for the best of you, but looking out for the best of themselves. So when you got two people on that trying to get together to do that, you're, you're, you're really jammed up. You're, you're, you're really setting yourself up for absolute failure. So that's why for me, studying these animals and studying the behavior of everything that's going on out here really just upgrades and amplifies my life to really let me know and have a good understanding of how to be able to take care of some things out here to make sure that things are going smooth and things are going good and things are all right and, and things are able to uh, be uh, easier in reality. I want things to be easier for me. I don't want things to be complicated. I don't want to have to grab 300 chicks and be hard. Oh, I got this and I got this. I don't want to have my cows out there 
I'm constantly having them jumping fences and breaking fences and going here and going there and come, coming home and, oh, where are the cows at? Where are the cows at? That's how my first days were when I first got them, when I got here. Like, that, that's mainly my goats, but especially my cows the same way. They, they were all the same until I started studying what it is that's going on with them, what it is that's happening with them, what, why it is it that they're doing that, why is it that they're acting this way. Until I really started to understand that, that's when my life started to get better. That's when I was able to get home. What are you chewing on, homie? That's, that's when I was able to get home and know my cows are there. That's when I was able to get home and know my goats are over there. That's when I was able to come home and know, okay, my dogs are right there and they're going to be there and they're going to stay there. They're not going anywhere else. That's where they are. That's what's happening with them. You found another one? And, and that, that once I started understanding and studying the behavior of, of the animals is, is how things start to become more and more relaxed and more and more ease of access to me. It's even now that I'm really starting <laughs> another one <laughs> out. Get down. That's when I, like even now, studying the behavior of this great parent is even more. That I'm, I'm asking and looking for some help. But in reality, if I just spend more, some more time, if I spend some more of my effort on the whole situation, then I'd be able to figure it out my own self. Then I wouldn't need some help from someone else. And I'd be able to do and be, Oreo, let's get up here. Come here. Uh, down. And uh, I wouldn't need, need anything else. And that's, that's exact, uh, down. And that's exactly what I've been doing this past couple of weeks now is really, really studying a whole lot uh, down. Studying a whole lot about his behavior, what it is that's going on with him. Why is it that he feels the need to have to do something? Why is it that he has, feels the need to, 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 to speak now but not speak then? Why is it the fact that he, he thinks that he needs to do something when I'm telling him not to do something? And it's, it's for me as a human to be able to get a good understanding of his behavior, to figure out what it is to be able to make his life easier, to make his life better, to make his life more comfortable, to make him more relaxed. Because the more that he's barking at stuff that he doesn't need to bark at, it's going to stress him out because he can't do it, can't deal with it. That's re in reality the reason why I say I got a second one because I had one and then I got him as the second one because she was working too much she was just she was just up 24 7 I was like you can't do that girlfriend like you're not but then in reality she was up too much because she was doing too much she was trying to take care of too much if all she did was take care of what she needed to take care of her life would have been so great and that's something that a behavior of her and a behavior of him really puts a lot on me to make me think about my own self like why are you trying to do too much and too many things here and too many things there? And especially things that you don't want to do and things that you're not even, say, capable of doing. And we need to be very, very careful that that's stuff that we're not, we're not doing. We're not making that happen. That we're just taking care of some stuff that we know that we're comfortable taking care of. Stuff that we know a lot about. Stuff that we are super passionate about. And being passionate about, so that, that's, that's the concept there. Of you got to do something to be able to live on. You just got to do it because you're good at it. Then you can start worrying about things that you say more passionate about. But but with that said, we got to make sure that we're we're focusing on things that we want to do and and even care to do and are good at doing. And and maybe he the shadow my great Pyrenees uh, guardian dog. Maybe he doesn't really care to watch the chicken, watch the goat, watch the cows. But that's what he's good at. That's what he's is ease of access. To. That's what's lazy to him. He can lay around and sleep and hang out and do what he's got to do. But trying to watch me and be on guard for me all the time, he he may want to do it, but it stresses him out. It's, he's always on edge. He's like, oh, I got to where is he? At? What's going on? He's, he's he can't relax. He can't he can't calm down. But taking care of the animals, he can relax and calm down all day long. So it's for me to be able to let him know something that you should be doing is going to simplify your life. Something that you want to do is going to destroy your life. And that's something that I think a lot of us as human beings really need to start taking a good understanding of. Are we doing things like that in our own selves? What is it that we're focused on? What is it that's that inner, that real inside desire in us that we're just, why we have all this like chaotic, crazy stuff going on all the time? Because we're, we're, we're not focusing on what it is that truly matters that we want to do and that what we want to be able to be a part of. And that's something that I, I, I really, really want more and more people to, to really, really, uh, okay, let's get down to really start to take a good hard look at and start to, to take a good hard, hard look at a week to week basis of what's going on with you. Having your week, having your Saturday and your Sunday to say, what is it that I'm doing that I just don't wanna do anymore because I'm not seeing any success with this and I don't feel like this is actually getting me where I wanna be at. And, and, and start to just actually put in a, a game plan and start to attack it and start to really just dial that in and dial up on what it is that you really wanna focus on. And, what, and, and number one thing that I'm gonna say 
way, an easy way, a very super simple, easy way for you to figure out what it is that you really want to do is the easy way to find this out, people. I'm going to tell you, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is like biblical secrets right here. The easiest way to figure out what it is that you want to be doing is what are you mad at other people doing? When you throw on a YouTube video, you throw on a TikTok, you throw on a, a, a Instagram post, and you see something, you're just like, oh, I don't like that. And you just feel like you got something bad to say about it. You feel like you got such jealousy about it. You feel like you got such envy about it. That's what you should be doing. That's what you should be focusing on. You should be looking at what they're doing and try to figure out how you can do that because that's what you want to do. You, your inside is just screaming, saying, why are you not doing that? Why are you not making this happen? Why are you not focusing in on this? Why are you not taking steps to do it right now? Why are you just watching other people do it? Why are you watching other people grow? Why are you watching other people uh, enjoy what it is that they're doing, but yet you're not doing it? That's why you're so frustrated. That's why you got anger. That's why you could sit on your keyboard and type away and type away and have such rage and such anger because you're not doing what it is that they're doing, what it is that you want to do. And that's something that you, you really, you really, really want to take a good hard look at and start focusing more and more of your time on doing what it is that really just enrages you. And that may sound weird. It may sound strange, but I'm telling you, you get mad for a reason. You're in jealousy for a reason. You, we get jealous, a jealous feeling where someone would say your dog is jealous and they don't understand those concepts. Only human beings do. You, 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 you get jealous because they're doing what you want to do. And you wish and could and you think and you say, I could do that better. And then you start to get down to these really negative type feelings. And then you, because you think you could do better, now you're going to start critiquing and judging like crazy what these people are doing. And you have nothing out there for no one to even look at. And nothing out there for no one to even be able to critique themselves. Nothing out there that, that says who you are, or what you are, or what's going on with you. But yet you're going to be so quick to just try to slander and damage and destroy everyone else that's doing something. And that's something that you should really take a good hard look at yourself and start doing it. Start doing it. Stop complaining. Stop Stop saying I can't. Stop saying I don't know how. Stop saying I don't know where. Stop saying nothing like that. Stop Stop trying to act as if you don't, you, don't, you don't have a say. You don't have a voice. You don't have a this and you don't have a that. You do. And every single person, not every single person, but every single person in, in pretty much all that I even know, we all have cell phones. And if you have a cell phone, you have a camera. If you have a camera, you've got a microphone on that phone as well. If you've got a microphone and a cell phone, phone and your cell phone has a camera which has a microphone it has a software on there to be able to record videos you all could do this you all could do make something happen you all could start posting videos about how to bake some cookies how to make some candy how to how to fry some chicken how to i mean holy crap there, there's anything and everything that you could do that, that you want to do because you're constantly watching these videos over and over so just saying ah i could do that and i, I mean talking about the cooking stuff the cooking stuff, I'm not going to say it's simple, but it's simple if you know how to do it really good. You get you a, you don't need a tripod. You get you some book. You don't need book. You can get whatever you need to make your, your phone stick up right there, and you start cooking, and you just start recording it. You just say, I'm, what you cooking today? And then <laughs> some videos that I wish were out there, okay? I'm just going to say this straight up. Some videos that I wish were out there were some real cooking shows. When I say real cooking shows, I say, I don't have this ingredient. I don't have that ingredient, I don't have that ingredient, and I don't have that ingredient, but yet I'm still trying to make this. So then I'm going to go look in my pantry, I'm going to go look in my fridge, I'm going to go look around and just see what I have, and I'm just going to, okay, I got that, I got that, I got that, what, this is what we're making today, because this is a real life cooking today. This is real life everything. I don't have the luxury to be able to have all the basil and all the oregano and, and have all the right cheese at the right moment, have the right breading, have all, you don't have all that. And a lot of these recipes on all this stuff, it just goes deep with having like 15 ingredients lists. And you're looking at your pantry like, I got some cheese, I got some chips, I got some ground beef, and I got some taco seasoning. So uh, this is what we're going to make here today. Like that's real cooking is what I'm going to say. We, we, we seriously truly need that. That I just feel like I don't see that. I don't, I don't, that doesn't pop up on mine. It always pops up of you need all these awesome ingredients and all this stuff that that's, that's, 
that's that's fantasy cooking. We need real cooking. We need real stuff out here. So when you're watching all these shows that are just like getting in, you say, ah, I don't understand why they, how they did this and this and that. You can do it. You can make it happen. And you can make it happen in a way that's way greater and way better than what anyone else is already doing and has done and is about to do because you're extremely unique to be able to make happen what it is that you need to make happen. Same way that I do what it is that I do. I don't know. I stopped the motion on my camera uh, a couple a couple weeks ago because it's just the, the weather is getting me jammed up. But not even the weather, but it's the lighting that's starting to really jam me up that I'm trying to figure out more. I got to get another piece of upgraded piece of equipment to be able to get my motion going the way that I really want it to get going. Hey, uh, Oreo. You way wrong to get my emotion going, to get it all going. But I try to do something different that I just don't see people doing. Let's get down. Do some things different that I just don't see see a lot of folks doing. I, I, we all do something different than the next person is doing. And it's the ones that are just constantly out here just doing the same old thing that we see everyone else doing. You, you, you're just going to get passed up. You're just going to get dropped, slashed by. You're like, wow, you're, you're, you're seen. You're everything. It looks just like the next guy because you got the same light in the background. You got the same dim. You got the same this. You got the same table. You got the same, you got the same stuff. You got to do something that's you, and that's why people are going to start watching you. And that's why even for me, I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about a huge amount of this and a huge amount of that. I'm worried about making sure that I get the skills and the confidence and the know-how to be able to make sure that I can get a couple people on board at least, but uh, the skills needed to be able to progress to my future of what it is that I want to do in my future. And that's making sure that you understand who Jesus is, you understand how to be able to make some food, and you understand how to be able to get your dogs to be able to look right, be right, and act right. That's something, something that's, that's me. That's all I'm trying to do is gain those skills to be able to get there. Is that going to happen overnight that all of a sudden, instantly, I'm just going to boom, there it is? No, that's not, that's not reality. Reality is it's going to take me 15, 20, 30 years to be able to get to the point of where I can see what that boom is, what, what th that greatness actually does happen. And especially if it just comes and happens overnight, as fast as it happens overnight, as fast as you lose it overnight. And that's something that and personally me, I don't want to be a part of. I got to make sure that what I say and what I do and what I'm about is giving me the skills required, the skills needed for me to be able to upgrade, to be able to help more people, to be able to get more people in a better situation, to be able to get people to be able to understand who they are, to be able to get people to be able to take care of some other people around them to be able to get people to understand how to be able to utilize utilize this animal back here to be able to help you out and to make your life uh, so much easier and and to, to be <laughs> he ate that whole pumpkin he, he ate that whole pumpkin and, and to be able to <laughs> to upgrade your existence and be able to upgrade your life so that we can i mean just 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 this, this is an interesting phenomenon people i'm going to say here right now that we don't really need all these landfills and all this stuff when you've got multiple farms out here to be able to take care of all this stuff. That How many people throw away pumpkins every single year? We get them, we put them in our houses, we make them look pretty, we carve them out, we do what we do. It don't even matter if it's carved out. This dude will still eat it. He eats the whole thing. That we could be utilizing that, that people could be dropping those off at places to make sure that the animals are taking care of it. And those animals take care of it in such a clean way that they are able, you're able to reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. And it's something that is just absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's, it's just such a very, very interesting situation that I, 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 that's what I'm trying to get better at is to get better at understanding the purposes and the needs of all this and everything around here to be able to make sure that everyone can live a better, cleaner, help, help, happier, healthier, wholesome life. And that, that's just what I'm doing. That's what I'm about. So when I've seen see some people making videos on what it is that they do, I would just sit there like, that's silly. This, this. I wouldn't comment in it, but I would be sitting there saying that. And that's why, for me, I'm standing here doing what it is that I'm doing. Because I know that not that I can do it better, I could do it different. I could do it in a way that maybe I could say something that is able to influence you in a way to be able to make that actual move. Instead of just sitting there constantly still watching video after video after video. So you can see a guy that just... Just, just looking at me, do I look like I've got hundreds of chickens? Do I look like I've got pigs? Do I look like I got a donkey? Do I look like I work and train dogs? Do I look like I have cows that I'm out there that this next year I'm going to be slaughtering my own cow for the first time? Do I look like someone who's done that, does that, or didn't know anything about that? And that's a whole, I feel like the main reason, the main push behind me, what it is that I do that I, I don't know nothing about this. I just got into it. And once I see, get, get more and more, I start to really understand. And, and it, hopefully it'll be able to push and motivate more people to want to do the exact same thing. Because this stuff is exciting. This stuff is just very, very interesting. I've gone from 
uh, just simple animals to being more complex of creating and maintaining my own. And then now, in reality, yes, creating and multiplying my own. That now I'm starting to really upgrade into doing some things that is just completely different and just, it's just, just mind blowing to me of the capabilities of what it is that's out here. For instance, that cow, that not the little ones that I that at the beginning of the video, but there's a bigger baby one. He's a year old now. That he's about to go to the processor next year. That 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 was born out here, and that I'm creating that all, that all my own. All my chickens, I'm reincubating them that they're that they're laying those eggs, and I'm recreating more and more and more. So I'm just building more from what was already here, and that is just so absolutely incredible that I might I might I might just might get another pig. Coon coon pig, so that he could start mating, so I could start getting some piglets, and then just start selling those and giving those away to, to be able to just have something extra to, to be able to use and be able to grow. Especially if it's just two of them that are out here, there's well enough space to be able to take care of that, and I'm totally satisfied with being able to do that. We just add another one, ain't no, ain't no big deal. I had three at the beginning in, in, in reality, anyways, but it ain't no big old deal. But just to keep watching, just to keep watching them grow, keep watching them go, he, they eat the stem of the pumpkin as well. They don't just eat the 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 green green the orange part. I mean, some of them are green. The actually, I'd have a green one over there. They don't just eat the they eat the whole they eat the hard stem top as well. They eat the whole thing. It's just phenomenal. But uh, it's just I want to be able to hopefully motivate and inspire someone else to do this exact same thing. Because the more that we have more people doing this, the more that we're gonna really start to upgrade our society as a human being species. Because it's, it, it builds character like absolutely no other. It builds your, your, your being up like absolutely no other. It gets you uh, that burning desire where you just feel like you gotta, you gotta, you wanna, you wanna. It, it starts to fulfill that. It starts to give you something. It starts to give you purpose. It starts to give you just life. And, and then with that life, it brings you more life because you get to consume that to be able to keep on living, to keep on going, to keep on cruising. And it's just absolutely amazing. And I want more and more people to be able to have a good understanding of what it is that I do, what it is that I want to be able to help out with, and what it is that I want to be able to see you do, and what it is that I want to see you be able to grow with. And that's something that just really, really excites me a lot. And with that said, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for today, an absolutely awesome, amazing great day for me today and a great weekend for me today that not great in the sense that woohoo everything's fun let's turn up let's have fun i don't do that i don't even know how to do that i don't even know how to be a part of that but i do know that i did a lot of thinking i did a lot of studying i did a lot a whole lot of research i got a lot of just understanding of certain things that, that's been going on that i just I, I learned a lot to be able to move forward with my life in such a more impactful way instead of just feeling like just stuck going another week of just realizing, okay, I did this this week. Now, this next week, I, I really want to be able to push at this. I really want to be able to go at that. I really want to be able to dig deep with, with getting this to go forward. And it just it just really put a lot of thought on me. And it put a lot of thought on me in as well of a lot of people that I just need to let go. A lot of people that I still would just have in there a little bit, just realizing that you actually really aren't trying to help me as much as I thought you were. You really aren't there for me as much as I really thought you were. You say you did something and then you don't do it. You say I didn't do something and then you're just lying. You're lying to me still. And you say that you, you, you just, you, you just not, you're not there for me. And then for me, I just you know, move on and realize this weekend there's, there's other people that are, that are out to try to just, just don't really care for me for some reason. And, and, I, and I understand it today why. I understand it that everyone that wants to try to help out as many people as possible, there's other people on this planet that want to destroy. And I'm so thankful to be able to have this information come to me, this insight to be able to, to, to really be exposed to me so that I can learn to know to let go and know that if I let two go, I could bring a thousand in. And that's, that's the route that I really want to go. Regardless of how close I was with those two, regardless of how close those two even know who I am, regardless of anything about those two, if I let those two go, I'm able to let thousands come in and thousands more come in as long as I let those down, let those go. So that's something that I really want to really want to start expressing and being more about instead of trying to please to, I want to please more people because there's more people on this planet that need help. And I'm just so thankful to be able to be out here to do this. 
and I'm so thankful to be able to uh, have the opportunity to this morning, one of the first times in a little while in reality that I just woke up and I said, thank you for allowing me to wake up and thank you for allowing me to be able to do this again another time. And, and, and I'm gonna do whatever it is I can in me to make sure that I, I can give back that thanks to God so that he knows that, uh, that, I'm, that, I'm, that I'm working what I can for him, I'm doing what I can for him, I'm spreading the message the way I can for him. I'm trying to inspire as many people as I can for him and be able to do what, what it is that I need to do for him. And not that that's gonna give me his grace even more, but no, that's just gonna be able to fulfill me, to be able to allow me to be able to have a better existence on this planet. And y'all have a great day, a fantastic day, an awesome day, and I gotta head on out of here.